All right, questions 48 through 50, and this time I'm going to do three questions in a row, so let's get right into it. All right, so we have in terms of A and B, what is the area in square coordinate units of this triangle MPQ? Now, guys, they give us this whole wall of text that we can just ignore it and go straight to here, okay? So what is this area here for this triangle? So remember that the area of a triangle is going to be one-half base times height, and this is going to be equal to base times height divided by two. So let's figure out what the base is. So the base is going to be from this point to this point, and that's going to be 6A to 2A. So I'm going to have A equals 6a minus minus 2a and then i'm going to multiply that by the height which is going to be from this point to this point and that's going to be 5b so 5b and i'm going to divide it by 2. so i'm going to have let's see 4a times 5b divided by 2 that is going to be 20ab divided by 2 which is going to be 10ab all right so that's our answer 10ab it's going to be answer choice g all right now let's move on to the next problem you guys, personally, I don't like this problem. I think it's a little bit confusing. Um, but uh, again, this is why you have to read it closely and just kind of pay attention. So you have point M will remain fixed and point Q will move to the right along the X axis as Q continues to move to the right. Which of the following statements describes what will happen to the slope of MQ? I guess what they're saying is let's just treat this like it's a line right here. And actually, let me write it here. So if we start here, this is M and this is Q, right? And we have our little, you know, our little graph here, right? If I have Q, and again, Q is on the x-axis here, right? If I take Q and I shift it over to the right and I move it here, right? I'll call it Q sub 1. Uh, what's going to happen to the slope, right? And as you can see, the slope is essentially flattening out, right? Now, if I keep going, right, it's just going to keep getting flatter and flatter, right? Oops, sorry. Uh, hopefully you get the point there. Um, so what this means is that, uh, well, okay, first of all, it's pointing down, right? Uh, like it's going in this direction like that so the slope is always going to be negative right so number one is it must be negative and it's never going to become positive because no matter how far i stretch it this way it's still going to be pointing down right it's going to be negative and here's the thing guys so while the slope is getting flatter so you know it, it might go from like one half to you know one eighth to one sixteenth so while technically um it does seem like it's getting a like a smaller number the thing is that this is a, the slope is negative right so anytime you get a smaller, or how should I say this? Anytime the absolute value of a negative number gets smaller, the actual value is getting larger because you're getting closer to zero and closer to a positive number, right? So technically, guys, the slope would be increasing, all right? Now, I know that doesn't seem very intuitive here, and I don't like how they use that term because, you know, a lot of times you think of slope as like, you know, the steepness, right? But if it is negative, technically the value of the slope is increasing, right? So it's increasing, and hopefully that made sense to you guys. Um, so the answer is going to be D. Um, but yeah, hopefully that made sense. I don't really like this problem, so if you got confused by it, don't worry. It's just kind of a weird one, but sometimes they throw that at you, all right? All right, so if you have any questions... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have one more problem. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right, uh, one of the following values is equal to F of 5A. Which one? All right, guys, so what this means is that we have this function here, right? And the function is given by this little upside-down parabola, right? So that means that with this function, uh, if I have f of f a, that means when x equals 5a, what does y equal? That's literally all this is saying, okay? And I did it. I'm going to do a video on this. But uh, anyway, so let's see here. When x is 5a, it's going to be right here. So I'm going to go all the way up to my function, and I'm going to look at this point right here. And this point corresponds to 8b. So that is our answer, 8b. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I will see you in the next video.